All right. So let's learn a bit about file systems and what is a file system. Okay. So in any computer which has local attached disks or remotely mounted storage units like LUNs, okay, the operating system running on that server will not be able to deal with storage unit or units it has by reading and writing information to and from it unless that storage unit is formatted. So the operating system must first create a volume or a partition using a specific file system that is supported by that operating system with specific characteristics, okay, over to create a volume or partition over the physical storage unit it has, okay, and format it with the with a specific file system, okay, afterwards it will be able to deal with this storage unit to read and write from it, okay? So each available operating system, for this example, I mentioned the Windows, Linux, and VMware hypervi hypervisors. So the default, or the, and I mean the common, or the most common, file systems in Windows now are the NTFS, which is the default, and the RIFs. And each has specific characteristics. You should always use the default default supported file system unless the application or the work workload that will be running and stored on a specific volume or partition requires a specific configuration. In that case, you will be choosing a specific file system to format your disks according to the instructions you get from an application or a workload vendor. Linux has EXT, and EXT is um, quite old now, and the latest version of EXT is EXT4. The common one now in Linux 7 and Linux 8 is XFS, and this is the default file system. ZFS also is a Linux Unix file system and it's used for specific uh, purposes. Okay, for the VMware hypervisors, the file system it uses is VMFS to format its data store. So when you create a data store in VMware, you have three um, choices you have a VMFS, NFS, and Vivo data store types to create. So the VMFS data store here, the VMFS refers to the file system. It's VMware, it stands for VMware file system. ESXi uses this default file system to format a provisioned and the mapped storage LUN to it, okay, to create a data store on top of it to start storing virtual machine data. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. It's been a, uh, yeah, it's a short lecture indeed. And see you in the coming lectures. In the coming lecture, we will be learning about storage provisioning types, thin and thick disks. Thank you.